So what's up everyone? This is Jane of DIY Off Grid YouTube channel and so I am going to give you a quick view of my harvest for today. This is uh today is already 11 a.m. here in my area, here in Bataan and uh, I just want to give you a quick update. So Mhm. Mm so here in my uh, off-grid setup, so by the way, here in my house I am using 100% off-grid setup in my uh, house and uh, I'm using a Snadi pure sine wave inverter with a charger and this is a 24 volt uh, system. Uh, and uh, it's 3 kilowatt uh, toroidal inverter and uh, on the left side we I'm using a SRNE MPPT solar charge controller uh, 40 amps so I'm using 40 amps uh, MPPT solar charge controller and uh, the panel that connected here on my SRNE MPVT is four solar panel uh, with uh, 100 watts uh, each. So I have four panels consisting of 100 watts watts each of panels. And here I am using a great power lithium iron phosphate battery so this is a uh, uh, two batch or two sets and uh, each cell having a hundred AH uh, battery capacity so I parallel two cells so that I can produce or I can construct or yeah, just like produce a 200 AH battery system and here uh, based on my it's not the inverter or my toroidal inverter off-grid inverter it's 24 volts so this is a 8 series of cells so that I can produce 24 volts battery system so 2p I am um, uh, my setup here for my battery is 2p S uh, 8S2P so it means 8 uh, series connection and uh, 2 parallel connection so that I can produce 24 volts having a 200 AH battery bank uh, system so I am using a DALI BMS the ba my DALI BMS was hided uh, at the back of my battery so I didn't put it in the front side so it can look uh, nice and uh, neat then my DALI BMS uh, having a hundred my rating of my DALI BMS is 100 amperes uh, discharge and 50 amperes charge I think uh, if I'm not mistaken so so I said to say I cannot show it to you guys because it's uh, behind as you can see I don't know if you can see guys that's my daily BMS rating uh, having a rating of 100 amps so this is my setup and I want to show to you guys how much my harvest for today so i have four panels consisting of 100 watts each and i connected it into a series connection so currently all right i just want to show it to you boss my battery bank having already 27.4 volts but to make sure i just want to yes already have 24 uh, 27.4 volts so maximum is 28 to 29 I think I think it's 28 
give uh, it's already fully charged it's almost fully charged but uh, still have uh, ampere to uh, to be charged because it's still on MPPT so it it means it still have more capacity to uh, to charge the battery because if it's almost fully charged guys it will change to boost or then it will change to uh, floating voltage if almost uh, fully charged our battery so here we I uh, just want to show you my total voltage of my panel is 65.3 volts and uh, the ampere that we are harvesting from our solar panel is 11.38 amperes and uh, if you will use the ohms law the wattage that we already can uh, that we already harvesting into our solar solar panel is 6.9 volts multiply to 12.9 so currently we we are harvesting 863 watts of harvest from our solar panel guys and that's a huge huge wattage from our solar panel and uh, as as i mentioned before we only that's only a 400 watts solar panel guys so it exceed from uh, over on my expect expectation and it can produce double it double up the uh, wattage rating of our uh, solar panel i am using solar home solar panel guys I, I i will show it to you later on guys so as you can see guys 12 amperes 12 amperes that uh we already harvesting in our solar panel and having 67 volts with the uh, i connected it into a series connection then one panel uh, having a 5.5 uh, amps with 18 volts uh, VO, I think VOC or BMP. I'm later on. I will show it to you guys. So that's our har harvest for today, guys. So it's playing uh, around 11 to 12 amperes, and uh, it played on 65 to 70 volts. So we. Here on my uh, off-grid setup, I my panel producing 800 watts of wattage. Then, as you can see, alright, currently it goes down 27.3 because uh, we are using also now. And currently, uh, we already. Uh, charge our battery with 24 volt ampere hours so it's a uh, big uh, it's already okay for this uh for this time it's only 11 a.m in the morning and we still have until 2 p.m to 3 p.m i think but for me i uh computing only until 2 p.m so we still have three more hours to harvest from the sun so it will uh, still go us, goes up later on so 43 degrees we detected and uh, all right it's normal e0 is normal with the setting and uh, all right that's it for my, our harvest then i will show it to you guys my solar panel i will just give you a quick view of that one but my main topic for today is showing to you the harvest for today and uh, as you can see i only have 400 watts rating of solar panel but i can get more than that so it doubled up my uh, solar panel rating 800 something guys this is the proof 
so if you are using the ohms low 67.7 volts from panel multiply it to the amp ampere pro, uh, produced by the panel and uh, that's it you can get your uh, wattage and all right i just want to show you guys my solar solar panel here as you can see it's quite sunny day for the uh, day so this is my new ground ground uh, ground mount for my solar panels as you can see here guys as you can see here it's already uh, suited perfectly on our solar panel so this is the first panel guys and the second panel uh, third panel the fourth panel so each panel each panel ha having a hundred watts of uh, rating and uh, I will just uh, give you a quick uh, view of our solar home solar panel so that's this is the rating guys as you can see I'm using solar home solar panel 100 monocrystalline solar panel guys and our BMP is 18.50 and uh, often bar you know, open circuit voltage is 22.20 and the amperes guys where's that one i'm looking for the amperes where is the ampere guys i didn't sell it oh that's what, uh, that's the green one so the short circuit current guys is uh oh no 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 where's that one the five yeah the short circuit current is 5.73 amperes so hot under the panel guys so that's my uh, grounding mount of solar panel as you can see that one so it's very neat to see all right so it's adjustable guys I can adjust it to lower down or uh, bring uh, slanting a little bit it's adjustable so just yesterday I done it uh, fix, uh, constructing this ground mount of our solar panels last night I just uh, did was painting uh, painted it with a um, with a paint for metal metal paint so that it will not uh, produce corrosion even uh, it's raining so that's it guys so that's our uh, harvest for today so it reduced already for 10 amperes but uh, it's still uh, still okay because as you can see we only have 5.74 amperes rating uh, each solar panels and if you will multiply it into a voltage so it produced 650 something or 655 watts of uh, supply or harvest from our panels so that's it guys so don't forget to like and share guys and keep on supporting my channel and don't forget to subscribe and uh, of course ring the notification bell guys to notify for my future BG content so this is my simple upgrade setup and that is the quick update of my harvest for today guys so comment down below guys what's the harvest of your uh, solar setup in your house and uh, how many uh, wattage your uh, solar setup or how many how much off-grid setup or solar setup you're having on your house so once again, this is Gene and peace out.